Hello, hello. You have found your way to the Brevis Talk podcast, where our message is eternal, but our delivery isn't quite that long. Brief and encouraging. That's our goal. Now, here's your host, Pastor Wayne Whiteside. Do you remember the four-minute mile? They'd been trying for years, the ancient Greeks, that is, to set some sort of record. They had wild animals chase the runners, and nothing worked. So they finally decided that it was physically impossible for a human being to run a mile in four minutes. They said that the bone structure of the human was all wrong, the wind resistance was too great, and our lung power was inadequate. There were a million reasons why man could not run the four minute mile. And then one day, a human proved that the doctors, the trainers, the athletes themselves were all wrong. The year after Roger Bannister broke the four-minute mile, that year after, over 300 runners broke the four-minute mile. Why? Because it had been done, and it had been proved that it could be done. Our limitations are put upon ourselves. The Bible says that a human with God, there is nothing that is impossible. The power is of God. Paul says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 16, holding fast the word of life so that I may rejoice in the day of Christ that I have not run in vain. What is your purpose for running in this life? Is it to win a race against others? Or is it to please Christ? I hope you're running for the right reasons. And incidentally, this run that I'm talking about is not a four-minute mile. It's not a sprint. It is a marathon. It is a race of endurance. It is perseverance. It is to continue to run when you don't feel like it. Because the prize is before us. Yes, the prize is heaven. But the prize ultimately is is to please the Lord in our bodies, in our beings, upon earth. Our desire above all desires should be to please the one who gave his all for us. Jesus the Christ, he's worth running for. God bless you. Thanks for stopping by to be with us at the Brevis Talk Podcast. If you want to know more about us or hear other brief messages, go to brevistalk.com and sign up to receive our blog and updates while you're there. Don't forget, Jesus loves you.